Securities and Exchange Commissioner SEC says Rappler Incorporated is still free to continue its operation while its decision to revoke the media firm's license for allegedly violating a constitutional rule is not yet final and executory. In a text message Monday, SEC spokesperson Armand Pan says Rappler can exhaust legal remedies and can appeal to the Court of Appeals within 15 days. SEC decided to revoke the news organization's license Thursday, alleging it violated the foreign equity restriction of the Philippine Constitution. But Rappler CEO Maria Ressa says the decision was made in less than five months since the media outlet received a show cause order from SEC in August. The speed at which this has happened and the kinds of, of attacks that media in general has gone through shows a very political nature of this, of this decision, and we will be challenging this in court. Rappler asked for Pan's response on the call for due process, but has not replied to the query yet. Lava oozes out of Mayon Volcano in Albay Tuesday, as areas around the volcano remain on high alert for a possible major eruption. On Monday, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOX, observed pyroclastic flow, composed of volcanic debris and fast-moving hot gases oozing out of the mountain. This comes after FIVOX, late Sunday, raised the alert level for the volcano from level 2 to level 3, meaning a hazardous eruption is possible within weeks or even days. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. Irish singer-songwriter Dolores O'Riordan, frontwoman of rock band The Cranberries, died suddenly in London on Monday or Tuesday in Manila. She was 46. O'Riordan's publicist says the singer was in London for a short recording session. The Cranberries achieved international success in the 1990s with hit singles Linger, Ode to My Family, and Dreams. No details were given about the cause of O'Riordan's death. (laughs) 